Well, Lagos lawyer and civil right activist Femi Falano has thrown his weight behind the going probe into the $2 billion arms deal that has thrown up a lot of names. Mr. Falano, however, believes that the, this should be extended to the $180 million Halliburton scandal, which first came to light on the former president of Basanjo. He says the same political will that is being applied to the arms deal is needed to see the Halliburton in case to a logical conclusion. Mr. Falano was speaking on our breakfast program, Sunrise Daily. The degree of criminality we have witnessed in recent time was sustained by impunity of the worst order. We had a predatory, savage, extremely primitive way of running the government of the day. The only hope this time around is that on the part of the government, there is a political will to fight corruption, which has been missing since 2007. The president had gone to the United States, had met with President Obama, and had told the whole world, what $50 billion has been stolen from our country in the last 10 years? And we want to recover them for development. And we want to recover the money for development. And those countries, the heads of those governments have said, oh, we are going to collaborate with you. Of course, the Alibotin case is one of the cases that have to be reopened. Even for those governments to believe that we mean well and that you are committed to the fight against corruption, you are asking for assistance from foreign countries. All those cases in which those countries have made have persecuted people in their own countries and have recovered huge sums of money, cannot be allowed to remain unchallenged here. And that is why I, what I mean by saying is beyond, because you cannot, you cannot be asking foreign countries to assist in the recovering of your looted wealth while you are also turning the other eye with respect to certain areas. Hmm. This country can make over two billion dollars from the Alibotin scandal. Oh yes, apart from recovering the money from those who really stole it, you also can sue those banks involved for warehousing stolen money.